Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace standard mortise hinges um, with ball bearing hinges, hinges that don't squeak. It's a must have. If this is not what you want to listen to, pay attention. Anyway, there it is. It squeaks and you really don't want this in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, it, it always squeaks louder for whatever reason. But this is what we are going to install are these here that have ball bearings. These two sections here you'll see have ball bearings in them. So, and those are the new ones. You can uh, purchase these the same you can see there same type everything as when you purchase a pre-hung door this does not squeak and opens and closes beautifully okay this here will squeak there it is sounds like a crying dog and it's frustrating to me so Let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So the first thing is to open the door that you see here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the center screw. You see the door just moved there. And that's okay. We're gonna do one at a time. They give you these little screws, five eighths of an inch long. However, we're going to use inch and a quarters when we put the new hinges in. I recommend you get these number uh, tens by uh, inch and a quarter long. These are stainless. Um, and then after you pull out these three screws, each just pop the hinge out. That's it. This hinge, the same as the, I ordered the same exact hinge, three and a half by three and a half uh, hinge um, that came with the door. Um, that's three and a half inches from this point to this point. Three and a half inches from this point to this point. This is the ball bearing section. You should make sure that the pin is up on the top. And how do you know that? You'll see it's solid on the top. And then on the bottom you have a hole, okay? So the pin is always at the top, not at the bottom, because if the bot if it's at the bottom, it could work its way loose and then fall out. So I have the inch and a quarter screws that I'm going to be installing now. Um, the the reason for this is because most of the time when you when you replace the hinge with new screws, the old screws will spin on you and they will not grip and eventually the screws will pop out and your door will come off the hinge so i highly recommend that you get new ones that are inch and a quarter long same flat head and everything the center screw here you'll see this is about two inches long this is to make sure that the door is set uh, into the frame. And they only use one of those, usually. All right, that one's done. I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see the second one. You can see it's nice and flush. It fits nicely. All right, I'm gonna remove these screws also. This is the middle hinge. See a small little number 10 by 5 8. They come right out. It's good to use um, 
these uh, impact screw guns for this. Fits very well. I'm going to pop it right out. See? Pretty simple. Again, the pin at the top, the new one. And I always do the door first. And this is called a 5 8 mortise because the, end, the corners are 5 8 round. And sometimes you just got to push it in. It doesn't fit perfect. You kind of got to work it in. That one's in, and this is the bottom hinge, which is our last hinge. No more squeaks when you get up at night. Your significant other will not listen to your door squeaking or waking them up. It's, I hate it. It drives me bananas. The bottom hinge is the hinge with the most pressure on it, just so you know that. It just like the door moves significantly there. And again, the pin at the top, these are the ball bearing sections. No more noise in this door. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Alright, so first I'm going to get this first screw started before I align doing alignment on the hinge. On this bottom hinge, I'm going to want to get this aligned before I start driving screws. I'm going to do that bottom one first because that's where the most pressure is. You sort of draw that right in. All right, let's see what we have here. See how the door closes? Very nicely. You can see the, the gap is good all the way down. You can basically tell it's a little tight at the bottom, but it's okay. It's not catching, but the door closes nicely. And let's listen. That noise you hear is the carpet. But it's very smooth, quiet. Should take you about 15, 20 minutes a door. Closes very nicely. These are solid core doors. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. No noise, no more squeaking. Recap, these are your old hinges, which have no bearings. And how can you tell? These are hinges with bearings. You can see that these are the two bearings points. These are hinges without bearings. These are just standard mortise hinges. And that's, that's really it right there. Okay. And I'm just giving you some close-ups. And you can see, perfect. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see here, please share my video. 
At the same time, please subscribe. Leave me a comment if you have questions. We answer your, your questions. Uh, hit the bell for any new videos that I have coming out. I have a bunch coming out, so you're going to want to hit that bell. And give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Thanks.